Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I am painting my son's room. Um, our oldest son left for the army at the end of September. It has been a very hard time for this mama. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had a lot of moments of being very sad. I'm so proud of him and I don't want him to think that I'm not. And I don't want anybody else to either. But, you know, I'm mom. I have the right to be sad, okay? <laughs> Nobody gets to say what I get to go through, alright? So, in this video, all I'm going to do is paint his room. So, right now, I'm painting his um, accent wall, which is Iron Ore by Sherwin-Williams. And it is a charcoal color. So, it's a black color but it's not quite as dark as some blacks can be. It's actually a really cool color. Um, and I figured that would be more masculine and he's, you know, a dude's dude. He joined the army, he's, you know, pushing himself. He likes the whole idea of putting himself, like making himself uncomfortable, not in a way where it's weird, but just you know, to do things that um, makes him feel uncomfortable, but for a positive reason, if that makes sense. Um, so, he is away, and we get to go and see him in about a month. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I can't wait to see his handsome face, and hopefully give him a big hug. But anyways, I go through and I paint the iron ore first, and I just did a first coat here. I ended up doing a total of three coats, and I think it was the roller that I was using was the issue because it covered really well. There were some spots, but it seems like the roller wasn't as good, and I got the one that was meant for the textured walls, but not super textured because our walls really aren't... They're like the orange peel or whatever, and that's what it included. But anyways, the the roller didn't seem to like really disperse the paint well, but it's fine. Here I am adding Dorian Gray to the wall. I'm getting rid of this color called Sands of Time, which if you like that color, I'm happy for you. I hope you have that color. I personally do not and I found out because I'm not the one who picked the paint color um, neither was my husband like it was already on the walls when we bought the house um, I found out that it's considered an orange paint so it's a tan but but it was so weird because I was sitting I don't remember which room it was but usually I just thought it looked tan and other times I thought it looked beige, depending on how the, the light was hitting it. And then all of a sudden I was like, wait, it kind of looks like a little peachy color. <laughs> like it has a peach tone to it. Well, it is obviously, it has some kind of color in there that made it look that way. And it turns out that it's considered an orange paint. So that's what I'm trying to cover up. And... I wasn't sure about the Dorian Gray, but I actually really like it. And I think it'll give a really nice neutral palette. He likes blacks, he likes dark purple, and he likes maroon or burgundy red. Like a real dark, deep red. So, I figure that these colors were a good, a good starting point. So that way, in some of his decor then I could add those colors in because I personally do not want to paint a red wall. It's just not, it's not my favorite. Plus I found out at Sherwood Williams, if you go with blue or red, you absolutely have to use a primer. Well, I don't want to use a primer. I just want to paint the walls. So, um, I'm glad that my idea was to use his decor, you know, whether it's his bedding, throw pillows, I don't know if he'll even want throw pillows, but you know what I mean. Um, just different, maybe artwork even, and use his decor for his colors that he loves. Well, that and the, the dark accent wall is definitely going to be probably one of his favorite parts. So, 
but I think I did pretty good cutting in those corners. It was a nightmare. Cutting in corners is hard. I went very slow. I had to speed everything up because it took me a very long time to cut in those corners. People who do this professionally are probably really quick, but I am not. So it took me a hot minute. But I think I did a pretty good job. Not the best, but obviously not the worst. I'm certain there's there's worse. Now, whenever I tried doing this trim, I made a mistake, got the wall. I cleaned it off, though. So, eventually, I just went to an artist brush because, let's face it, I did nails for a living. I love to paint pictures. And so... I grabbed my artist brush <laughs> and that really helped so I was able to get the top of that trim done I prefer to paint trim before it goes on but it's already on the wall I did not want to change the trim out so um, the thing is is I want to build some stuff for this room so there is going to be some things coming up that are going to be built specifically for this room and um, so it would cost more if I were to replace trim, add trim, do any of those things. So I'm trying my hardest not to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff and then not be able to build what I want to build for this room. <clears throat> I did go ahead and touch up the door. If you have boys, you understand they're a little rough on things. i um, not sure... You know, it wasn't terrible. I'm not sure what all. I know they had like a, one of those chin-up bars that they were using, but I don't think that goes on the door. It just goes on the doorway. But anyways, there were some scuffs, so I had to fix them. And so I did three coats of the iron ore, two coats of the Dorian gray, and then I just did one coat of this white which is I'll have to put it in the description because I can't remember what it's called I keep forgetting the name of this white so I'll just put it in the description so if you want to know it'll be down there but I just did one coat because it was already that color and so all I needed to do was touch up the little issues on the trim and on the door So we have been pretty blessed. We've been able to talk to Eric um, every Sunday, which has been nice. I get to hear his voice. He gets to tell us about things he's been doing in training, which is really cool. Um, we sent him off some letters, and he had already sent us some letters, so that was cool. And we have more coming from him, so <laughs> I'm excited to read them. Um, oh, I can't wait for him to come home see his room he's not going to be in it for very long <laughs> because you know he's got a career he's going for I don't know if he's going to make it a full career or if he's only going to go the the six years that he signed up for but I have very high hopes for him so here I'm just buttoning everything back up putting everything back together um the room is going to be empty for a while I have to save up some money to buy the wood so my hubby and I can work on building the stuff that we want to build for this room. So there will be more videos coming, but it might take us a minute because I don't know if you've looked at the prices of things, but oh my word, are things getting so much more expensive. So we kind of have to just, you know, save and hope that um, we'll be able to get it all and get it done before he comes home for Christmas. So that's kind of what we're going for. Um, putting the door back on. I was the only one home. Well, me and me and Frodo, but you know, Frodo can't hold the door for me while I screw in those screws. So I was on my own for this one, <laughs> but I got it done. It was a nightmare. But yeah, can't wait for Eric to get home. I can't wait for him to see it. But at the same time, I'm just hoping we can get it all done before he gets here. 
and that would make me so happy. But definitely need to save up the money. We went and we looked and we priced some stuff out at a place in a town near us. And I think it's going to be alright. I think we'll be able to do it, I hope. <laughs> Optimism, right? That's, that's the key. Alright, so I went through and I just cleaned everything up. That way whenever it's time, we can just start placing things and it'll be wonderful. I think... I think he's gonna love it. That looks so much better already. So much better. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you come back for the next videos. Um, they won't be for a hot minute. I'll have something different in between, but I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Thank you.